Hello dear friends. Here I would like to discuss Weiss and Miller indices. First, Weiss indices. The plane of the crystal in the space can be represented by three coordinate axes that is x, y and z. It is possible to determine the phase or plane of a crystal by noting its point of intersection with three axes. These intercepts of the plane on three axes are known as wedge indices. Wedge indices are not always simple integral whole numbers but may have fractional values as well as infinity. That means whatever the point of intersection by a plane on three coordinate axes are not always a simple integral whole number but it may be fractional or it may be infinity and therefore for sake of convenience Miller indices are used. Now we discuss Miller indices. Miller indices can be defined as the reciprocal of wedge indices or it may also be defined as the reciprocal of the intercepts made by the plane on three axes and are expressed as the smallest whole numbers and are expressed as the smallest whole numbers that is integers which are obtained by multiplying throughout by the smallest number. That means mirror indices are expressed as the whole numbers. That means in case of wedge indices, wedge indices may be fractional or infinity but Miller indices are always whole numbers and it can be obtained by multiplying throughout by the smallest whole numbers. For example, consider a three coordinate axis on which the lattice having unit lengths A, B, C on each axis. If we consider a plane which cuts the x axis, the plane which cuts the x axis and parallel to y as well as z axis, then its wedge indices are intercepts per unit length. Wedge indices are intercepts per unit length on x axis, y axis, and z axis. So, wedge indices is equal to for example, intercept on x-axis is A divided by A. Intercept on y-axis here, this plane is parallel to y-axis. Therefore, infinity divided by B. Again, on z-axis, this plane is also parallel to z-axis. So, infinity divided by C. If these distances are unit distances A, B, C, then the wedge indices are 1, infinity, and infinity. But from the definition of Miller indices, Miller indices are nothing but these are the reciprocal of wedge indices. Therefore, Miller indices is equal to 1 upon 1, 1 upon infinity and 1 upon infinity. So, the values of Miller indices for the given plane are 1, 0, 0. Hence, such plane is called 1, 0, 0 plane. This plane is also called as the cubic plane. Now consider second example. Now consider three coordinate system of x, y, z axis with lattice, crystal lattice and now consider a plane which intersects on x and y axis and parallel to z axis. So, wedge indices for this plane are a upon a on x axis b upon b for y axis and here this plane is parallel to z axis therefore infinity upon c. So for unit distances wedge indices are 1, 1 and infinity and for the given plane the values of mirror indices are 1, 1, 0 and such plane is called as the 1, 1, 0 plane or sometimes it is also called as the 
diagonal plane this plane is called a diagonal plane now consider third example on this three coordinate axis system having crystal lattice and consider the plane which intersects all these three axes and for this plane the point of intersections we write the wedge indices as a upon a b upon b and c upon c that means wedge indices are 1 1 1 and its reciprocal also 1 1 1 therefore this plane is called 1 1 1 plane or it is also called as the cube diagonal plane now we have to see how one can calculate uh, Miller indices. In the definition, we see that the values of Miller indices are whole number, and that whole numbers are obtained by multiplying throughout the smallest whole number. That means if the intercepts are sometimes fractional, so for writing the Miller indices value, we have to convert it into the whole number. See one example. Consider the crystal plane which intercepts the three axes at the following multiples of unit distances that is 1 as to 1 as to uh, 2 divided by 3 then what will be the Miller indices for given plane first we write the wedge indices from the definition we know wedge indices are the simply intercepts made by the plane on three coordinate axes that is 1 1 and 2 by 3. Now we have to write Miller indices and from the definition Miller indices are the reciprocal of wedge indices. So we can write 1 upon 1, 1, 1 upon 1, 1 and 1 upon 2 divided by 3 is equal to 3 by 2. So Miller indices for the given plane are 1, 1, 3 by 2. But from the definition this fractional value is not allowed. So we have to convert this fractional value into whole number for this we have to multiply this by a smallest whole number so first we multiply it by 1 the value will be remain as it is but when we multiply throughout by the 2 the values becomes 1 into 2 2 1 into 2 2 and here here 3 divided by 2 into 2 is equal to 3 and hence the values of Miller indices are 2, 2 and 3 for the given plane. So here we discuss about wedge indices and Miller indices and how one can calculate the values of Miller indices. Thank you dear friends.